Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the manufacturer bearings in your Abu Garcia Black Max and um, over to the Boca Bearings Orange Ceramic Bearings. Uh, this is the newer edition Black Max, so if you have the older one, the steps and bearing sizes might be different, but they could also be the same. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, so uh, first off, let me show you guys what you're going to need for this replacement process. Um, the first thing that you'll need is a Q-tip. And what you want to do is you want to cut off um, one end of the Q-tip with a knife or scissor and leave the cotton on the other end. Another little tool that you'll need is a um, safety pin. Or if you don't have a safety pin, you can also use a paper clip. That works just as well. Now the next tool that we're going to be needing is the uh, Boko Bearings Pin Spool Pliers. Um, this tool uh, is made specifically to help you replace that troublesome bearing on your spool shaft that's locked in with a pin. You can purchase this uh, tool at BokoBearings.com. Now if you don't have this tool, um, don't worry. Um, Boko Bearings has a great video on their YouTube channel that gives you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to remove the pin with your household tools. Alright, uh, once again, um, you can find this at BokoBearings.com. Alright, so the last tools that we'll need is of course the bearings that we're going to be replacing. Um, these are the orange uh, ceramic bearings from Boko Bearings. You can purchase these at BokoBearings.com. Uh, I'm just going to be uh, replacing the spool bearings, which directly affects the smoothness and casting distance of your reel. So you only need to replace three bearings for that. Two of the bearings are the same size, while one is a bit, a bit different. Uh, these are the orange ceramics that I'll be installing. You'll need two, um, you can see that, SMR103C. Um, basically, they're the 3 by 10 by 4 millimeter, And you'll need one SMR115C, which is uh, the 5 by 11 by 4 millimeters. Alright, so now that we have our tools and everything ready, let's go ahead and um, start replacing the bearings. All right? so the first thing you want to do is, um, we're going to be replacing the side panel bearing first, since that's the easiest one. So the first thing that you want to do is, um, there's a screw that connects, that goes across your bait casting rail that connects the side panel to your reel. Alright, so what you want to do is kind of just turn it towards you this way until it gets loose. Alright, it won't totally come off, but once it's loose like so, you're able to kind of um, take the side panel off. And to take the side panel off, all you have to do is just turn upwards on it alright and if your bait caster is pretty new it'll take a couple minutes to kind of loosen it up you ha you might have to go back and forth with it but um mine's is pretty loose so you just have to kind of press it up like so you can see there yeah up like so and then once you have it up just kind of there you go pretty simple alright and you can see the bearing that we're going to be replacing first which is that bearing right there and that is the 3 by 10 by 4 millimeter bearing um, and so let's go ahead and replace that bearing first. Alright, so now that we have the um, um, side panel out, we're going to be using our safety pin. And if you have a paper clip, this is, what, this is when you'll be using your paper clip. And so what you want to do is there's a small little wire, I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, that goes around the bearing. And what that does is it helps the bearing stay in place so that when you do change your bearings, it doesn't fall out. <clears throat> And so the easiest way to the easiest way to remove that is kind of to just um, place half your thumb over it and then get this safety pin. The reason why you want to place your thumb over it is because if you don't do that, the spring it might just um, jump out of there and you'll lose it forever. So now if you do lose it, it's okay. It's not a big problem. Um, it's not necessary for your uh, bait caster to. Um, cast further or be smoother but as you can see the pin there just kind of stick it in there and then you see kind of pretty, it's pretty simple to remove got it off already and I'll just show you guys how it looks like it's kind of like a um, like an octagon alright and so once you guys have that out this is when your q-tip comes in handy just kind of put your q-tip in there and just kind of bend it at an angle so there's some tension and then you can just move your bearings uh, like so. There you go. All right, so that's the side panel. This is one of the bearings right there. Okay. And uh, this is go ahead, go ahead and get you to Q-tip and kind of just uh, 
stick it in there and kind of get some of the excess uh, oil from the oil bearings and you just remove it like so. Alright, so now that we have our bearing nice and snugged in our side panel, you want to go ahead and grab your little wire that we removed earlier and just put it back on there so that you don't lose it while you're changing the other bearings out. It's a pretty simple process of doing it. You just want to kind of, uh, easy way of doing it is to kind of get it in your hand like so and just um, pinch it. Pinch it so that they kind of fit in there. And then, there you go. Alright, so we have one bearing done. We got to do two more. Uh, so let's go ahead and remove the spool. And once you remove the spool, you kind of see one of the bearings that we're going to be removing, which is right there. This one. And there is the pin, that nasty little pin that. Um, it's pretty hard to remove. Uh, we'll do that one last. We'll go ahead and go skip that one and go with the other 3 by 10 by 4 millimeters, which is um, at the tension knob, which is right here. So you want to go ahead and just uh, remove the tension knob, go ahead and um, just take off the cover of the knob, like so. And it's in there. Now, this one also has a little wire that is protecting the bearings from slipping out so you'll need your safety pin to remove this one as well just just go ahead and do it exactly like you did the side panel basically just get in there make sure you cover it so it doesn't fall out and just kind of uh, go at it there you go and that almost flew out right there you can see it. Alright, so once you have that, it's pretty simple to remove. Just go ahead and get your Q tip. Do exactly what you did for your side panel. Just get it at an angle. So there you go. Like so. Alright, um, now that you have the bearings removed, or the bearing, um, you want to go ahead and just uh, go in your Q tip like you did earlier with the side panel. It's kind of just move some of that oil off from there alright and then go ahead and grab your other 3 by 10 by 4 millimeters <coughs> bearing let me just go grab it real quick alright and just kind of there you go just place it in there like so Give it a good push. Alright, there you go. And that is two bearings down, one more to go. Alright, so um, let's go ahead and put the uh, pin back onto the little wire back on the bearing. This one might be a little bit, a little bit more difficult than the side panel just because you have the little drag star blocking away. Alright. Just kind of do what you did before, kind of pinch it together like so, and just stick it in there. There you go, that wasn't too hard. Alright, one more bearing to go. Alright, so two bearings down, one more to go. Uh, the last one is going to be the one on your spool that's um, blocked in by that evil little pin there. <clears throat> this is where your buckle bearings, pin, spool parts will come in handy. Now once again, uh, if you don't have the, the tool, um, you can find an awesome tutorial on, at the uh, buckle bearings YouTube channel that shows you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to remove that pin with your household tools. All right. But I had the luxury of having the buckle bearings, pin, spool pliers, so it will go a lot easier. Uh, what you want to do is... um. And if you do have the tool and you're not sure how to use it, um, the video there's also a video um, that Buckle Bearings has that does an awesome way of awesome job of explaining how to use this tool. Now, as you see, there's just some some small grooves in the pliers um, that are meant to uh, remove uh, the pen. Now, what you want to do is um, see the grooves. There's a there's a long one that's on top and the small one. And that small one is used to push the pen out of the um, 
the spool. And as you can see, this the pin there. There is. I can show you guys. You can look at the pin. There's one side is the, is the skinnier side, which is that one, and that side is a little bit fatter. So you're going to be pushing the pin up towards where the fat end is. Now once it's there. you can kind of remove the pin. All right, so once you get one good push, you want to use the little thing that's sticking out of the plier, and that is meant specifically to push the pin like so. Hopefully you guys can see. All right, so once you have that, just kind of push down on it. Uh, get good grip. Push down on it like so. There you go. See how I went all the way down? But once you have it all the way down like, like that, all, all you need to do is just give it one good last push, it comes out. Alright, so now that we have the pen removed, let's go ahead and grab that bearing and just slide it on out. This is where the cotton end of your Q-tip come in handy. You just want to kind of swipe any excess oil that was on the bearing earlier. Just so want to just remove as much as you can. All right, and then go ahead and grab your five by eleven by four bearing. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit on here. And just go ahead and put it on there. And it fits perfectly. Alright, so what you want to do is once you have the bearing uh, in there, uh, you're going to be putting the uh, pin back in place. So go ahead and uh, grab your pin and just um, Go ahead and stick one side in there, like so. And then for this one, you're not going to be using the little um, the little teeth on your plier. You're going to be using more of the grooves to put it back uh, into its original place. So just go ahead and line up um, the pliers, like so, just like that, and just give it one good push. There you go. Alright, so we're pretty much done. All we have to do really left is just to uh, reassemble the baitcaster. So let's go ahead and put the spool in. Um, okay. And everything just basically goes back into place where it was. And don't forget to tighten the screw here. Alright, so uh, right, let's go ahead and test it out. Alright, so um, I forgot to record it, but uh, when I had the uh, manufactured bearings in there, uh, it would be spinning at, I would say, at a maximum of about five seconds. Right? So let's go ahead and see how long this thing will last. Alright, yeah, so that's about. 10 seconds, 11 seconds, so it's almost double. So you, you can see what a difference uh, orange ceramics bearings do make. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and all you fishermen out there, good luck out on the water.